Wait. Check this out. Oh, I Woo! Just, oh man. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> wow. That's what I've been waiting for, Sophia. Now we're in business, girl. Pete, thank you so much for joining us. This is really great. It's a good moment for us. Yeah. <laughs> The Opal Whisperers have used the last of their cash to hire local miner and excavator operator, Peter Clayton. So, what are we digging? Oh, yeah. Do you want to come and have a look? We can mark it out. Uh, Sophia's pretty conscious of the trees as well. If there's any way that we could avoid uprooting most of the trees, that'd be awesome. Yeah. OK, whatever. is absolutely what we're looking for. We've opened one or two and we've found just clay inside. However, just to see that formation is a super good sign for us. Yawa nuts form when crystal opal fills intricate cracks and voids inside nut-shaped ironstone rocks, creating unique patterns exclusive to the region. What we want is for that clay to turn into solid ironstone and then we need opal inside that ironstone. So we're one third of the way there. What do you reckon, Pete? Um, <laughs> cap rock's hard. The cap rock's hard, isn't it? And it goes straight to clay. But there's no band of nuts or band of ironstone. We've hit clay at the bottom, and mm -hmm. the general rule of thumb is once you hit clay, it's it's over. There's no no band there. Well, anyway, where do you want to go next? I think we'll we'll truck on and go in the same line, the same trench line. I don't know if we should stay in the same line. I'm thinking that maybe we go where, where the ironstone's lying on top of the ground, closer to the road. Yep. Towards the back of the lease. The original plan was to continue trenching in a line through the clearing. Isaac is suggesting a brand new trench 50 metres away. Sounds good to Sophia, me. Sophia, what do you reckon? Um... I, I don't know, that's completely changing the, the planet is, last minute. You've got to change with what the land tells you to do. Well, so, we have to restudy that area and make sure it's it's pretty clear. Yeah. There's no level so far. We can keep going deeper, but he's hit clay. And you don't want to follow our trench line right over there? I'll give you an example uh, of how I, how I sort of look at things. If I've got an ironstone boulder and I saw through it, let's say I, I've got ideas of how to cut it, and I saw through the boulder and I have a look at it, so in this case, if you look at this like it was a, like a small boulder. I get that. Just with all due respect, it's like, like time's ticking. We're paying a lot of money for him. Do you want to show me Mate, the area you thought? There's ironstone lying on top of the ground over there. And I, I didn't see that before we decided to do all of this. All and, right. um, well, that's, that is a good sign. Have a look at this. Yeah, okay. OK. So now this is completely different to everywhere else. Look at this, Sophia. That's a nut. Right. That's a nut lying on top of the ground right there. Yeah, right. There's no pattern or colour in it, but it is a nut formation and it's, mm. iron, it's ironstone. All right. I agree. Let's do it. Well, this is our second test trench now. And if this doesn't work out, then it's up to Sophia to, to find where she wants to go. We need to nail it within these three test trenches. It's not got the indications that we've seen previously. In, yeah, there's in... nothing really exciting no. through these layers, is there? If there's no indication mm. of anything at, at 10 foot, then... Um... No solid indication here? then that's an indication there's nothing here. <laughs> it's a super good sign for us to see that there's full ironstone formations. We didn't see any of this in the last two trenches. Sophia, look! Hey! Check this out. That was from that pile. What? Look at that. We've got a nut. Wow. Oh, no way. Wait, well, there's one, there's more. That's the first piece of opal we've found. First decent piece of opal we've found here. I'm looking for anything that shimmers ironstone. Oh, this looks good. OK. That's coffee watch in colour. It's actually really nice purple. It looks like it's been broken up, so there's probably extra bits. That's it. That's it. <laughs> There's a bit of colour coming straight through there. This might be a good substantial piece. Uh, I'm just going a little bit careful because some of it actually looks fossil. That's fossil for sure. 
Isaac. What's going on? I just thought I'd get you to have a look at a little bit of colour. What do you got? Holy crap! <laughs> So if that's not just colour, that's a massive pipe, mate. <laughs> Got a bit of movement on it. It's just really these it's top bits I want to... huge, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah. Ready? Yep. Okay. 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 Holy crap. <laughs> that's a good one. There's still a bit to go, but what I've done is I've exposed the main bits of the um, of the piece. Million dollar question, though. <laughs> What's she worth? I mean, this is nearly mm. priceless. I've never seen a piece like this, you know. Mm. And guess what else? Mm. There's like another six pieces. These are the ones that come out of that big clump that you found. Oh, awesome. And this one's really bright. Oh, the other one from there. Very, very saleable colour, this one. What's yeah. going on on the back? Anything on that? Yeah, it's got this laser show going on. It's really oh. random, wow. hey? Wow. OK, so it's actually double-sided. And the, and the other smaller one, is that one? Can we just make a few notes? No worries. The opal whisperers have found oh. yawanut, pipe and fossil opal, featuring blues, greens, purples and golds with a rare double-sided piece and they've been partially rubbed. OK, so the parcel, the specimen, yeah. what's our total? OK. <laughs> Provided my maths is correct, we have $37,300. Woo! I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. <laughs> we did good. Sophia has estimated the six finished yawa nuts will be worth $7,300 and the museum-grade pipe opal fossil, $30,000. We have revealed an absolute masterpiece. This was the first sign of colour that I've seen at Yower House. And instantly, I was just filled with hope. Well, now that's done, it's time to get all our furniture upstairs, get all our dust out. Our major goal really from the start has been to do this on our own, Isaac and I as a team. We don't want to see this shut down, especially after all the effort that we've put in so far.